For this problem, we have a and b are sets of real numbers and they are defined as follows. So we have a and b right here. We need to write a, a with the upside down union b and a union b using interval notation. And if our set is empty, which we've done before in a previous problem, we're gonna have to write this null symbol. So, or nothing that's in it. So when we look at this, when we have an upside down union as we have here, this is gonna be an and. When we have a right side up or just a union, this is going to be an or. It's gonna help if we draw out a number line, so that's what we're gonna do. Our number line is gonna look something like this, it doesn't have to be 100% accurate. But when we start, we're gonna start with our A, and then we're gonna look at our B. We're gonna do them on the same number line. So with our A, we know that W has to be greater than or equal to our three. That means we're gonna use a closed circle, and I'm gonna do this in red. So we're gonna use a closed circle to represent this. Let's find a three. So our three is going to be right here, we're gonna have our closed circle like this. Since W has to be greater than, uh, we already covered the equals. The equal is because it's circled and, and it's filled in. Because it's greater than, it's gonna go everything on this side. Now, let's look at our B. So for B, we're gonna represent blue. It's going to be an open circle and that's because we don't have the equal sign underneath. So W has to be less than nine. So if we find nine, say it's right here, we have an open and we're going this way. So now we can look at our interval notation. When we look at the first one, we have our upside down union, it's an and. Since it's an and, it means that everything that we write for this set is going to be covered by both of them because it has to be covered by this and this. It's basically what it's saying. So that is this whole section right here. We know that since this is a filled in circle, we're going to have a bracket here. And since this is an open one, we're going to have a parenthesis here. So for this one, we have a bracket. We're starting at three and we're going to, but not including nine. So that's the answer for that one. And for or, all it's saying is that it has to be covered by this or that, either A or B. And really, if we look at these, our coverage never stops. Just because we hit another uh, thing right here means we have an intersection, but it never stops. So it keeps going on forever. That means we're just saying that this goes from negative infinity to infinity. We never use infinities, we just use parentheses, not brackets. So that's how we would look at this problem.